Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Outsmart Disaster Webinar Series presented by Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation, also known as LAEDC. Thank you for joining us this morning for today's presentation topic that is on Is Your Business Prepared to Outsmart Disaster? I am Angela Amerikanian, Program Manager of the Together for LA program at LAEDC. Outsmart Disaster is a statewide awareness campaign that is focused primarily on providing California businesses with the resources they need to adequately prepare for and recover from all types of disasters. Outsmart Disaster Partners are Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation, Together for LA, Edison International, State of California, and the California Academy for Economic Development. I would like to take a moment to recognize Edison International. Edison International, whose generous support for the Outsmart Disaster Campaign has made today's webinar and webinar series possible. Also, thanks to the California Academy for Economic Development and the California Association for Local Economic Development for their generous support and partnership. Edison International is not able to join us this morning, but we have a special message for them from them up on the screen. Southern California Edison believes in the value of preparing for small business interruptions. Edison is pleased to partner in providing resources to help small manufacturers plan to outsmart disaster. Southern California is proud to collaborate with the California Association for Local Economic Development and the LAEDC to present the Outsmart Disaster Program to small business manufacturers located throughout the region. I'd also like to introduce you to LAEDC and our mission for those that don't know joining us this morning. LAEDC is a nonprofit public benefit organization whose mission is to harness the power of private sector in collaboration with LA County to guide economic development and create more widely shared prosperity. I'd also like to introduce you to the Together for LA program. The TFLA program is one of many of LAEDC's wonderful small business assistance programs. Together for LA, however, is a strategic partnership whose focus is to strengthen and support women-owned, diverse-owned, and BIPOC communities and small businesses in LA County as we strive to recover from the economic crisis that was wrought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, no cost technical assistance and connections and resources specific to your needs is made available through the Wells Fargo Open for Business Fund. And you'll also see the Together for LA partners up on this slide. A wonderful website I would like you to please take note of is laedc.org slash coronavirus. This is our specific hub of all things small business resources. We have a great filter system where you can simply narrow down the type of resource you're looking for based on what industry you represent, your business type, as well as the resource. For example, you can narrow um, the resource down by financial opportunities, workforce related information, and so on. So please go ahead and visit the website after this webinar. Um, and we do update this website on a daily basis as resources become available. So once again, that's laedc.org slash coronavirus. Back to technical assistance, uh, we do offer no cost confidential complimentary consulting. So if you or a business you know is in need of further business assistance, we are happy to connect with you personally after the webinar and really listen to your areas of need and determine what services and resources we can provide to you. Some resources that we do have connections with and would be happy to connect you to are in the areas of permitting, financing, energy efficiencies, workforce, and so on. And we do have personal live connections to various entities that we can connect you with to further assist you. Next, I would like to introduce a special guest speaker that has joined us this morning. We have Bruce Kern joining us. Bruce Kern currently serves on the board of the California Association for Local Economic Development and is the past chairman of the California Academy for Economic Development. 
providing professional development resources and access to valuable technical assistance for community development leaders. Please welcome Bruce Kern to share a few remarks. Uh, my screen is an opening, so uh, I hope you will understand. Um, the, uh, it is my pleasure uh, to welcome everyone uh, uh, this morning uh, to the LA Los Angeles Economic Development uh, Corporation's Outsmart Disaster uh, Workshop Series. Uh, as was mentioned, this virtual workshop is generously supported by the Edison International. Uh, the Academy is a designated Outsmart Disaster Partner uh, with the State of California, California Business, Consumer Services, and Housing Agency, and is responsible for the overseeing the I think we may have lost Bruce. We apologize. Bruce, uh, let us know when you are back up and we can come back to you. We apologize for the technical difficulties. All right, let's now move into the reason we have gathered. Uh, today's presentation topic is, is your business prepared to- As this year, past year has shown. Oh, did you get my- uh... Hello. Go ahead, Bruce, we can hear you. Oh, did you hear my opening comments? I'm sorry. We did, it, uh, please feel free to uh, pick up from well, there. Okay, well, just let me get close and I apologize for uh, the video uh, connection problem. I think as this past year has shown, uh, the recovery and, recovery and resiliency really go hand in hand. And the workshop series really will provide you with a, an outstanding, way to really examine uh, best practices and strategies that you can adapt as your business uh, to help uh, mitigate the unforeseen uh, consequences that may result from these uh, economic disruptions, either from fire, floods, earthquake. Again, thank you uh, for your support and involvement. And with that, uh, please uh, enjoy the workshop series. Thank you so much, Bruce. We appreciate those remarks, your partnership and your leadership. And thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Let us now move into the presentation portion of this morning. Our topic today is, is your business prepared to outsmart disaster? And I'd like to introduce two of my colleagues that will be presenting the topic and information um, for our, our attendees. Barbara Levine is District Director of LAEDC, who has joined us this morning, as well as Bob Machuca, District Director of Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation. Barbara, I will let you introduce the upcoming two events and we will take it from there. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, especially this program is really meant for small to medium sized manufacturing businesses. And if you're not a manufacturing business, stay with us. We want to talk to you too. Um, this is a series. It's a three-part series. Today is basically the introduction. It's the big picture about Outsmart Disaster. And I think the last 20 months has really shown us we've got to be prepared for disasters, for threats. We have to be nimble and be able to pivot quickly. So next week, join us on the 18th for tips, tools, and best practices to Outsmart Disaster, where we are going to go through the Business Resiliency Challenge, stay with us. It's easier than you think, and there's power in numbers. And then on December the 12th, we have a risk management expert who's going to be speaking about Outsmart Disaster Risk and Resiliency. Okay, today's agenda, and I'm gonna go off camera because this is a program that we're doing. Um, today's agenda, we're going to be talking about the Outsmart Disaster, the overall program, an overview of the, of the Resilient Business Challenge, 
how to be an outsmart disaster advocate in Q&A. And I'm going to be trading off with my wonderful colleague and friend, Bob Machuca. Next slide. So why outsmart disaster? Well, businesses play a critical role in our communities. And you know, as we turn towards recovery from COVID-19, it's important to invest in resiliency now to ensure that we can get back to business faster after a natural disaster. And that comes directly from the business consumer services and housing agencies for the state of California. We want to be able to be prepared the best we can for disasters, for threats of any kind and before they happen. Um, our efforts started at the state level and we're, we're really pleased to be a part of this program and to not only give a scientific approach, but also bring in a practical approach for what is going to work for you and your small to medium sized business. Next slide. The Resilient Business Challenge, it's an a self-guided online tool. And over the next 30 minutes, we're going to be going through aspects of the challenge. And it's just to give you a big picture and a big brush approach. Stay with us because we will certainly be with you through the challenge. And there are six of us on the business assistance team and we are happy to work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you get started and go through step one of the challenge. The great thing about the uh, Resilient Business Challenge, it's a roadmap. It's a program and it's supposed to be directed to you and that's why you're in the driver's seat with your program. So here are the steps of the Resilient Business Challenge and they are um, prepare and anticipate to support key stakeholders and please keep in mind your employees are at the top of your list of being a key um, stakeholder along with your supply chain. Secure and protect adapt and recover and rinse and repeat. You know, make sure your model works for you as we try to anticipate disaster or you know, be ready for threats as they might come up. Next slide. And I'd like to hand off and introduce Bob Machuca. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, and also thank you to Bruce and thank you, Angela, uh, for the wonderful introduction and again, uh, I want to thank our uh, attendees this morning. And I just want to say, you know, disasters are probably the last thing you think about. I mean, look, today's a nice day. It's 90 degrees here. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend. You're probably anticipating a barbecue in the weekend with family. And the last thing on your mind is a disaster. So that's why it's imperative and it's important that we focus on this right now. Yes, we hear how to be prepared for your family, your residents, but a lot of us really don't think about being prepared for our business. And we found that as we work with businesses, about 90% of businesses are either not prepared or not adequately prepared. So let me just go off camera here real quick. Uh, as Barbara mentioned, um, the core of this uh, challenge are these five areas. And the first one is prepare and anticipate, okay? Uh, and the next few slides will give you uh, the different types of challenges. And I just want to emphasize that there's no cost to take this, okay? Many of us are really busy running our businesses and really haven't had the time to prepare for any kind of disaster. You know, the old uh, adage, you know, one ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But in this case, being prepared could save you literally thousands or millions in expenses to recover. You know, when we think of disaster as Bruce and, and Angela and, and Barbara said, we think of earthquakes, but it could be more than that. Uh, you know, we're just currently in a disaster right now, a pandemic. And there can be other things. There could be uh, man-made uh, or there can be uh, non-man-made. There can be a um, uh, cyber warfare or something else. And we've seen a lot of uh, scams going on right now. So the first step really in this slide is really anticipating and documenting your essential business functions. List your, your assets. And by the way, you're gonna find templates. You're gonna find all this information in the business challenge. We are just trying to describe some of the brief uh, ideas that we hear from businesses. They ask us, what and how can we be prepared? So these are some of the main items in these different areas that you'll find uh, has to be prepared. Uh, next slide, please. What we found is really uh, your stakeholders are extremely important. 
Uh, you know, we all have a list of stakeholders and they can be customers, they can be clients, they could be supply lines, uh, supply chains, very, very important. So, and your employees, your employees are really uh, stakeholders as well. Um, a lot of us have of supply chains that, uh, you know, we take for granted are always gonna be there. Uh, but again, look at the port situation, okay? Uh, I heard this morning there's 78 uh, ships out there ready to be unloaded. Uh, we're hearing from a lot of businesses that uh, they're having problems with their supply, their supply chain. So other things you can really do uh, to be creative. And this is what the challenge helps you to do. It helps you to identify different supply chains and different areas as well. Also, something else to take into consideration is your contact list. You know, we're all so, we take for granted our smartphones, for example. Like for me personally, I can only remember maybe five, five numbers. Uh, it's so quick when I need to call home, I hit a button and I call home or I call my wife or whatever. But I mean, imagine if all the communication systems went down and you don't have access to your cell phone, you can't charge your cell phone. So again, simple things like maintaining a, a paper list of contact lists is, is very important. Something else uh, for your stakeholders is your employees. Your employees are a very, very important asset of your business. You need to keep your employees safe. You need to plan for recovery efforts before an incident uh, occurs. So all these are very, very important. Um, let's see, secure and protect uh, is an area, uh, is also an area here that really you need to secure your area, strengthen your, your facilities and safeguard your data. Next slide, please. Okay. This area really uh, strengthen your facilities. You know, in the guide, you're gonna find templates uh, and resources and tools that will help you. You know, some of the things to really think about is, do you have uh, uh, records of your, your floor plans? Do you know the codes? Uh, backup power for critical systems, smoke alarms. A lot of times, you know, we take these things for granted, but are your smoke alarms, are they charged? Do you check the batteries regularly? Fire extinguishers. Secure heavy items that could fall or break, uh, cabinets, bookcases, uh, you know, all these things are very, very important. Uh, know where your utility shutoff valves are. Uh, also, you should check with your public emergency services like the fire department, emergency medical services, have that information on hand. And these are all things you're going to find within the, uh, within the challenge. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, uh, strengthen your facilities. Uh, again, this is an area that we really need to focus on uh, that a lot of businesses really don't take uh, or have planned for. So, and again, a lot of businesses take this area for granted. This is a critical area that really needs to be uh, studied and secured and looked at to make sure that you have plans for that. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, safeguard your data. Excuse me one second. My thing went off screen here. Uh, yeah, again, you know, if you own a building, uh, it would be different than if you lease a building, you should check with your landlord uh, for anything in the lease that would maybe obstruct maybe a planning. Uh, so things to check, this is very important. Um, very important also to identify uh, alternate locations. Um, a lot of businesses maybe have all their equipment, all their supplies in one place. And it's very important that you might have an alternate location uh, for uh, information and where you store a lot of your equipment. Next slide, please. Uh, this is very important, securing your data. You know, a lot, of our, a lot of our data, as I mentioned, could be on smartphones or it could be in the cloud. Uh, it could be stored in devices. Uh, it's very important that we know or we have alternate locations to store your data. Um, and uh, data is very important. If you can't secure your data, uh, how soon can you get the data to recover, and it's very important. Data is very important. Data can be compromised, and these are things to really consider. Next slide, please. And there's different areas here. We have uh, different steps. Take an inventory. How soon do you need the information? How soon do you need your data? Do you need it in a day? Do you need it in a week? Uh, and also to back up your information. Uh, a lot of businesses, uh, I know we in our company, we back up information all the time, but also if you back up, have it in different places. And then step three, recovery. What, how long will it take you to recover? 
And where will you store this recovery information? And then step four is to test your plan. Um, yes, you can have a resilient plan in place, but if you don't test it regularly, how do you know if it's gonna work when you need it? And also to upgrade it if you have changes to your business. Next slide, please. And then now I'm gonna turn it back over to Barbara Levine. Hi, everybody. So adapt and recover. Let's, it's, it's, you have to understand your insurance options and you need, you want to do it before an event happens and know your finances. So next slide, please. So you're talking about your insurance coverage. You want to make sure that your coverage matches your presumed risks and what your needs might be. And what this means is have an ongoing conversation with your insurance broker, or if you're a part of an association, or, or see what contingencies might be in place with your building or that your landlord has already put in there. And if you look at the graphic of the life preserver, having the right insurance matters. A life preserver may help if you're drowning, but not so much during an earthquake. So what do you have to prepare yourself and to back you up as what you need? And over the last year and a half with COVID, we've really seen the workplace change. You know, what was it was everyone for the most part was working at the same location. And now, you know, locations are really shared or they're off site. And I'm not an insurance expert, but I know enough to advise businesses that I talk to speak with your insurance broker because they have additional resources that they can speak with you about what you need to do to be safe and what you need to do and how this affects your overall premium coverage with who's working and where and what they're doing. And just remember that if a disaster is widespread in your area, you can ex you know, just expect that insurance agents and brokers are going to be very busy with phone calls and taking care of, of everybody as well. So the more that you have updated, the more that you're ready to have ready to go, the better position you're going to be to adapt to disasters and any kinds of threats. Next slide, please. So the next is financial considerations for recovery. And I think we've learned from the Woolsey fire and that was only a few years ago or when there were mudslides or the torrential rains whenever we have them or windstorms or major you know, power outages that when there's a, a major disaster, it takes a while for FEMA to come out and really release funds as well as the Small Business Administration. So you really need to know what do you have as your own personal backup plan for yourself, your family, and of course your business and your employees. And we suggest, you know, when you do the, um, the Outsmart Disaster Program, use the tools like know your finances checklist, assess your cash flow, Ask yourself questions like, how much cash do I need to survive three day, one day or a longer shutdown? And these are some of the items that Bob talked about a few slides ago. And what would the cash be used for? You know, do you need to have cash on hand or using digital currency? And what happens if the ATMs go down or you can't access your, your online banking? These are all contingencies that we need to plan ahead for. And then where are you going to go to secure emergency funds? Remember, it might take a while for SBA to enact different programs. For each of these options, know what documents and records are required. So please, throughout the year, keep your, keep your work finances in place. I think what we've seen working one-on-one -on -one with businesses throughout LA County, even before COVID, that when a program comes out and a business needs to demonstrate that they're a legitimate business and they have to demonstrate need, they have to upload their financial statements and their employee statements. And it's unfortunate that so businesses, so many small businesses did not have access to their records or they weren't up to date enough to upload information and to be able to qualify for certain programs before a deadline. So we, we don't want to see anybody left behind, especially when unfortunate situations come up. We want to see people be safe and secure and be ready. And with that, next slide, please.
Um, Bob, I think this is yours, my friend. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, rinse and repeat is really the, the fifth category of, of the core of the business challenge. And really, as we discussed previously, is really keep your plan updated. Again, it's very important. Uh, updated as you have changes within the business, you have employee changes or your business expands or even if it downsides, but to keep that plan uh, updated and to regularly reassess what your risks are. Risks can't change. They can't change if you move. They can't change if your business model changes. So always uh, reassess. Uh, and, and something we want to emphasize is, um, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of businesses really don't incorporate a, a recovery plan, a resiliency plan into their business model. So again, this is part of just keeping this uh, as an important part uh, of your strategic plan as you run your business. And again, also test your plan for weaknesses. As you find weaknesses, you can go ahead and, and self-correct and um, reroute and, and make things uh, so where you'll be in a better position to recover. Uh, next slide, please. We are asking if you could help be an advocate uh, for the um, Outsmart disaster. Share the link with, uh, with some of your business friends or let them know of our upcoming webinars. Okay, you know, we, we are all in the same ship of state together. And as we work together, we are, are stronger and more resilient. Uh, even though we are a bunch of independent businesses, there is a ripple effect throughout the economy. You know, a lot of our customers could be other businesses as well, or, su our, or suppliers could be businesses. So it's important that we help share this information and help our community, our business community, be more resilient, be better prepared. Next slide, please. And then ways you can help is to take the challenge. And we have the link here. And then we will follow up. We do have your emails. We will follow up uh, with the link. And we ask you to please take the challenge. Again, there's no cost to take it. This challenge has been thought out by the state of California and our partners. And from what we are hearing from businesses, as I mentioned, a lot of businesses are not prepared. And as my colleague Barbara said, we don't want to leave anybody out. So we're asking you to please take the challenge. I believe, Barbara, if I'm correct, uh, they could take the challenge up through December the 31st. So you have time to take it. You have time to take the challenge. And since Barbara came on screen, let me go on screen. You have time. You have time to take the challenge. So we're asking you to please partner with us and take the challenge. It'll help you. Also, if you want to host an out smart disaster training uh, session, we're here to help you. And we can help put that together for you. And please share the message with your networks. Uh, and I guess I'll pass it on. Next slide, please. Or, um, yeah, next, go ahead. Next slide. Thank you so much to Barb and Bob for that great presentation and information. I know that was a lot of information that we have presented, but please note that we will be sharing the recording of this presentation as well as the slides that we've presented up on our website, uh, which is the same website that I mentioned, laedc.org slash coronavirus. So um, the website also has past webinars and upcoming webinars. So please uh, take a look at that when you get a chance. We will next move into our question and answer session. If you have any questions that you would like addressed or anything that you would like repeated from the presentation, please go ahead and use either the chat function or the Q&A function, and we will do our best to address your questions. So if I can invite Bob and Barbara back on screen to answer some questions. Thank you. And we'll give it a couple minutes to receive your questions and go through them. And in the meantime, uh, Barbara and Bob, if you have any frequently asked questions that you would like to share, um, perhaps we can kick off the Q&A session that way. Yeah, uh, I'll, um, thank you, Angela. Yeah, a lot of businesses, um, and, and we, we actually started this back in 2018 um, uh, prior to the pandemic. And I think we, we, we started this process because of the uh, earthquakes 
And uh, I guess the questions uh, business have asked us, you know, we always hear about earthquakes and being prepared for earthquakes and, and Dr. Lucy Jones, you know, uh, Caltech comes on and talks about the earthquakes, but really don't hear too much about other disasters. So uh, working with the state of California, we put together uh, this plan and this toolkit, this toolkit that will help businesses think of areas that they have not perhaps thought about before uh, and to help them uh, with this thought process and to help them develop uh, this plan and put that into their, their business model. Uh, Barb, is there any other questions you've heard from uh, businesses? Right, I think something that we've run into a lot is a lot of businesses don't know who they can talk to to get what kind of help. And we're certainly available to help as much as we can, but the county also has some really good resources, such as the Department of Consumer and Business Affairs and are also our partners at the state. And we've all lived through these different threats. We've all pivoted rather quickly as you have, you know, through the pandemic and in dealing with so much you know, be it the pandemic, be it unfortunately uh, natural disasters or civil unrest, we want to be able to see you have and continue a safe workplace for yourselves, your employees, and your communities because it's really interconnected. It all works together and we're available and we are very, very happy to connect businesses. You know, just have a couple minute conversation with any one of us. And we'll see what we can do to help you and further find out what's happening at your business and what we can do to invite you to be more efficient and more productive and to have a safer environment for you and your workforce and be prepared for disaster. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah. And Barbara mentioned about connections. We, we do have a lot of connections uh, within the LAEDC. Um, we've had this program now since um, uh, for about 24 years now, the Business Assistance Program where we work closely with uh, county departments and state departments and to bring all these valuable services to businesses. Right now we're focused on Outsmart Disaster, uh, but there's a, a wealth of other information. Angela shared our, our uh, LAEDC coronavirus website. Um, if you could just log into LAEDC, LAEDC.org, you can go in there, you can see a lot of value, a lot of programs and, and there are absolutely no cost to you. They're brought to you to help really inform and to grow our economy and to really get ahead of the, the ball and get ahead of a, a, any eventual catastrophe or disaster. Um, it could be an economic disaster as well. It could be a lot of different things and, and, and just things besides disasters. There's just a lot of things we can do to help businesses. Thank you, Bob. And if we can just remind attendees the deadline um, up until when attendees can take the challenge. I think that's an important date to please note one more time. I believe it's uh, December 31st, Barb, is that correct? You're on mute, Barb. Barb, you're on mute. Sorry, uh, December 31. So we, we will do this with you. So that's why it's real important we reach out to you take our call, reply back to our email. We wanna schedule a brief time with you to walk you through this very important challenge. It does make a difference. And think of it as a program. Think of it as a plan. It needs to be fluid. It has to be adapted and practical for what works for you and your business, no matter the size. So um, we're targeting December the 31st. Angela? Thank you very much. And with that said, um, if you are a manufacturer, a small business, a micro enterprise, assistance is ready for you. We have a team of multilingual experts that would be happy to schedule a complimentary and confidential assessment um, with one of our business assistance representatives. So when you do go to the website, laedc.org slash coronavirus, there's a contact us button. Um, if you hit that button, you will be um, asked to complete a short intake form for us to better learn about your areas of needs. Um, once we do get that information, someone from the team will be in contact with you directly to further schedule a video conference or a phone call uh, per your preference. 
Once again, we do have a webinar series under the Together for LA program. We present various topics twice a month and always on an educational uh, topic with some sort of valuable takeaways, as well as any new grant and loan opportunities that come up. So uh, please keep checking the website for our upcoming webinar series. And once again, we present twice a month. The next two webinars that we, we will be presenting are specifically on Outsmart Disaster. So today's webinar was an introductory uh, review of the Outsmart Disaster Campaign. However, we will be getting more in-depth in the two upcoming presentations. So on November 18th, once again at 11 a.m., we'll be presenting tips, tools, and best practices to Outsmart Disaster. And on December 12th, uh, we will be talking about risk and resiliency. And we have some speakers from both our partners as well as an insurance company to give you some um, tools to really apply to your business. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this morning. I'd like to thank the LAEDC team for presenting. Thank you to Bruce for joining us this morning and a very big thank you to our partners and our sponsors. And this presentation would not be possible without your partnership and support. So thank you so much to Edison International, um, as well as the State of California, the California Academy for Economic Development. We thank you and we hope to see you during our next presentation and please be in touch with us at any time. Have a wonderful rest of the day.